Welcome to the review by DJSPRC. Today we have the Spectrum S1500 on the table. This is one of the uh, Spectrum smart chargers they have. It's a 500 watt DC smart charger. Uh, DC meaning doesn't have its own power supply. You need to supply it power. Let's check the specs here. Uh, 500 watt DC smart charger, input voltage 8 to 30 volts, that I do like. Uh, battery type will do 1 to 6S lithium ion, lithium, uh, lithium, lithium high voltage, sorry. You do LiPo, Life, lithium ion I said already. And this charger will do NIMH and NICADs, 1 to 12S. Uh, charge rate is 500 watt, this charge rate is 8 watts. That's an 8 watt discharge rate. That's good for this kind of charger. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Opening the box itself, you're greeted with a black pouch. If you slide the first thing out of the pouch, it would be your charge input, charge input power lead. IC3 to banana. And you'll have your manual. And it's in English, Dutch, French, Italian. And this I, I would recommend for you guys or gals to actually read it. Even if you're watching this video, take the time to read your manual. And you have the charger in the box itself. Let's flip the box and look at our charger here. Face-wise, you'll have your dial and your your main input button. On the side here, you'll have your output IC3 with your balancing plugs. Flip on the other side, you'll have your input power, your programming input, and your USB out. If you want to charge something that's USB. And underneath, you'll have your four legs or anti-slippage, uh, recessed, and you'll have your fan. Now to power this charger for today's video, I'm using a four cell battery. Unfortunately, I do not have a battery to plug on the other side. Let's plug it in. This is a little startup. Now, on the screen you will see here, basically this would be amperage the battery is charging, your milliamp that goes in, and you would have your cells on the bottom here. Now, because I don't have a battery, it won't give me anything. If you scroll down, uh, that's our input voltage, 15.1. That would be our output voltage. This is the temperature. This is the fuel in the battery. These two here, I just don't remember 100%. Then it gives you the amount of uh, what's happening for your battery here. Now, if we press fast on it, what we have here, we have the battery type. <clears throat> we'll have LiPo, Lithium Ion, Life, PB, NIMH, and NICAD. And up top here, Lithium High Voltage. Cell voltage, if you select it, you can select the amount of what you want per cell. Cell count, you can tell it to charge a 1S, a 2S, a 3S, a 4S, a 5S, up to 6. If you want to lock it only on the 3S, leave it on 6. The other one is the current, uh, the amperage you want to, to, to be able to charge it. 10 amps is good enough. Task. In the task itself, you'll have charge, discharge, storage. Storage. You physically use this guy when it's not a non-spectrum uh, battery, a non-smart battery, if you want to discharge it. Or put in storage mode, should I say. And charges it is. Uh, you have to remember, once you remove the battery, it's fully charged. Uh, let's say you put on discharge. When you go for your second battery or so on and so on, you got to remember to put this back on charge or storage, whatever you're using, because it doesn't rotate back where it used to be. Then you'll have your start. Now we'll go back. Now we're going to do a long press on the main button. 
First one is your input power. You can downgrade it. Let's say uh, this is a 530 watts right now, and I just want to be able to use a 200 watts. You basically can select your wattage. Input voltage, uh, you can select that and change that too. The backlight is how much you see the physical screen. Put it on high. Unfortunately, with the camera, you don't really see it on high. Let's put it back on low. And it does have automatic mode. Volume is basically your your, your when your sensitivity when you're scrolling leave it on high touch sensitivity is the amount how you drag your finger on it if you want it more sensitive or less completion tone basically this is when you select that you have two choices a single tone or repeats itself to let you know that the charge rate or the discharge rate or storage mode has been accomplished. And then you'll have your language that you have English, Dutch, Francais, Espanol, and Italian. Then you have your system information, uh, hardware, the BL, I'm not sure what that means because I don't think it has Bluetooth, uh, the OS on it and the product number. Then you'll have the system self-check. When you select that, you'll hear the fan ramped up. Basically, what it's that doing is self-checking itself. The charger is making sure everything inside of itself is fine and working. Now, if you I don't know if you notice on the screen, once it can accomplish that, uh, error free. That's telling it that, or telling you, should I say, it has no issues. Now, the last option you'll have is smart. Even if I press on it, it won't give me anything. I would need to have a battery plugged into it. And what that does, when you have a battery plugged in, this chip that's in the battery, okay, stores a lot of information uh, how many times you charge it how many times you discharge it how many times you put it in storage mode uh, what kind of state of voltage or the other thing too what the milliamp put the, the hours of discharge self discharge you set it up this stores everything and this is where you would find information on it unfortunately i don't have one on the side here to be able to show you uh, maybe a next video I'll uh, show you that. Now this was the Spectrum S1500 500 watt DC charger explanation. If you have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification in the corner to let to let you know when the next time I upload a video. And thank you for watching.